from Albuquerque, New Mexico. My name's Janelle and I'm 34. I first started having hip pain, I was 30. I just had my first child. So at that point I saw Dr. Holsocker and he did an x-ray and an examination and told me that I had hip impingement. And with my MRI, we were able to see that we, it ha I had a labral tear and he told me all the ins and outs of what the surgery would entail. And I went home and I discussed this with my husband and we decided that I can't live like this. I can't live my life on pain meds or limited in any kind of way with two little kids. So we decided that this was gonna be what I needed. So I went back to him and he answered all my questions, very detailed. At a, right about five to six months, I could say I was 100% back to where I was prior to having my first child. I'd say I'd feel a little depressed because I felt like something was taken away from me, something I loved to do, running. I never thought I'd run again. I, I was told I would never run again by many doctors in the past. And when I saw Dr. Holsager, he said, no, that's not gonna happen and that's unacceptable. And it's been the best thing in my life because running makes me even as a person. It makes me happy and it's, just a passion that I have always had. I run about 13 to 14 half marathons. I've run one, one full marathon. And I'm hoping that soon I can do a half marathon in the next year or so. So I'm really excited about running again. Don't take a doctor saying that you can't do something. Keep searching until you find that doctor that, like Dr. Holsager, that says, no, that's unacceptable. You're too young you got to find a doctor that will be on your side. And that's how I felt with Dr. Holsager, is that he was on my side. If it's stopping me from doing something that I love, then you have to change it. You know, you have to get help. You have to get the surgery. So. Hello, my name is Harish Holsager, and I'm a hip joint preservation surgeon in Southern California. I'm glad you could listen to Janelle's story. It's very relevant from the perspective that someone in their mid-30s or early 30s who's been having significant amount of hip pain often gets undiagnosed or misdiagnosed in several circumstances today. Lots of these patients are either considered as to having something that cannot be fixed, occasionally or on many times treated as low back pain. Many patients end up getting several injections in their back, months and months of physical therapy with failed relief of symptoms, and occasionally are considered as disabled and sometimes told to go on disability or give up their profession or give up their activities, running, jogging, things that are so important and relevant to their lifestyle. What's important is to understand that Many of these patients in their younger age or even in later ages who have hip pain are going through this process of hip impingement. And that hip impingement can be treated and that joint preservation is possible, is successful. It's a journey. It's a journey where patients have to be examined, have to be diagnosed appropriately, have to be investigated to see where they are with their status of the joint cartilage labrum, anatomy, and then appropriately treated. I'm happy that you got to hear Janelle's story from the perspective that although she was diagnosed late, she had a very successful outcome. She's in her early 30s. She's back to full activities. She's back to her passion of running. She's back to a situation of no pain. She's, two, she's got two young growing kids and a wonderful husband and she now has a very good quality of life ahead of her. With the situation that she is in today with the repair of her hip that has been performed, I don't see her facing arthritic changes at least for three more decades or more to come, which in my opinion is a phenomenal successful result. And therefore, I'm happy that Janelle could share her story with you and with several other people who are now waiting somewhere out there with hip impingement 
hip pain, several months of problems that are waiting to get treated with a successful outcome. Thank you.